Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the second swing golf, joined today by Bella McCauley, a member of the University of Minnesota women's golf team here in the tour van. And today we've got a very fun head to head comparison yep. here <laughs> that we're going to test with Bella. So <clears throat> it's one of these where we've done some on the uh, with the men's team on the channel that you can go check out, um, where essentially one of them went and picked a random club from our inventory to test against a gamer. So today I've picked a club from the inventory um, and this is this is an old tailor-made 320 tie women's driver. Um, Goodness. Very, very different than what Seen you're playing. Seen better days. It has, it yeah. has. So talk to me about the driver that you're playing and then mm -hmm. maybe we'll uh, <laughs> do some predictions about what we're gonna see. Yeah, here. <laughs> absolutely. So the driver I currently play is a Titleist TSI 3. So it'll be quite different from this. It's also a little bit different in length. Mine's a little bit longer. Um, it's a little bit longer than standards, but this will be interesting to mm -hmm. uh, see the comparison. Yeah, we got, I mean, this one's definitely like a shorter kind of women's, if you will, length also. And then you're playing your driver actually longer yep. than standard. So there's going to be quite a bit of difference here, not even to mention the difference in the, you know, the technology, the club head. Exactly. And the speed you're going to generate. Yeah. So um, I guess what I want to ask you first is which of these do you want to start with? Because it's going to be very different yeah. between the two. Let's start with mine because I'm going to okay. be curious to see how it, how yeah. it goes from there. Okay, okay, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> okay, perfect. First drive of the day, let's see. Yeah, the first driver swing didn't really even, probably not fair by me to not give you the warm up. That's okay. But not terrible. But one thing I know about Bella's game is she doesn't really miss fair ones. <laughs> I try not to, makes the game easier. Yep, that's about as far right as you're going to hit it. That was good. <laughs> I don't even know how far right is that. Like, hmm? how far right do you think that is? Like 20 yards, maybe? Mm, maybe. Um, I mean, you're, you're, you're not even 15 yards off. Okay. You're. I can't tell. You're like 12 that. yards off. It, this is, it's actually funny. You're hitting to like the skinniest possible part of this particular fairway that we're, that we're on. It's interesting too, driver's also probably one of the weakest parts of my game in this sense of my distance. Um, I would say I'm pretty accurate off the Z. Don't miss a lot of fairways, yeah. but. Um, I buy that. That's... So sometimes the distance, wish it was a little bit better, but we're working on it. That was a higher ball speed. Yeah. I think you're getting a little warmed up too. I'm seeing that ball speed kind of yeah. just climb a little bit. But it's, it's fascinating, too, because of how accurate you are, where, you know, you're playing a um, sort of a, a actually a little bit longer length shaft, which typically makes it harder to kind of square yeah. up. But, you know. No, it's true. Um, my my fitter, Aaron, like basically told me, you know, we're trying to improve distance and accuracy is OK. Why not try longer? Mm -hmm. So um, yeah. and I can always choke up on a really narrow fairway. But yep. if it's time to, like, swing hard at it, I can. I know uh, Aaron Roth, Master Club Fitter here at, at Second Swing Minnetonka, doesn't really oh, like shout outs, but we're going to give him one here. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So we've cool. got six swings up there. Was this one maybe a bit of a missed hit? Uh, yeah. It? Yeah. Yep. It looked like just because I'm it just was. looking at the spin. So I think what we'll do, here's our five, the best five out of the, the six that you hit. Um, and then I get to go like this and, and this, I should note, this is very, very zoomed in at dispersion. It's kind of disgusting. With yeah. How it's so accurate. Yeah. Cause this is, this is five yards. Right. right this, here, yeah. this whole thing. Yeah. So this is five yards off. So you had, you had these three here are within six, seven yards of the, the center line that you're going to be the it. target. This one's maybe what we're talking about 12 yards. 12, yep. So really accurate, and you got that nice, you know, that consistent draw every yep. time. Is that the shot you're, you, did you, you've committed to sort of yeah. hitting the draw every it's time? It's the draw I hit almost every single time. If I have to, depending on the, the shape of the hole, I might yeah. try to hit a little bit higher and straighter, but yeah. most of the time I stick with the draw. Right, yeah, I mean, clearly it works for you. So, um, all right, so we've got 
Let's these try numbers the... to beat here. And I got I the club perfect. here. This is going to feel very different for you because it Let's is see. shorter. And it is probably a lot lighter, too, oh, because goodness. of that. Yeah. So. This is going to be really funny, actually. <laughs> Oh wow. my goodness. It's so light. Too. I'm wondering how much the viewers watching this can like see as you set the club down at the dress how much shorter the it's okay. club is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh dear. goodness gracious. Okay, that went not even two hundred yards. Yeah. That that's the so part of this is your club speed's gonna go way down because of how much yeah. shorter the, the shaft oh, yeah. is. And Aaron, that one felt pretty good. Yeah, actually. yeah. It looked like it. Yeah, look at that thing. That was pretty good. Because <laughs> Aaron has told me that you have a golf swing that would work for any golf club. And so this is sort of challenging that because that's about as much of a club that shouldn't work for you as we can find. All right. It's even like a draw, like kind of setup, I feel like. Yeah, it's like. got a bunch of offset. Which is not what I need. You're hitting that thing pretty good, though. Like, it's not terrible. Look at that. <laughs> that's funny how's that thing feel that's what i'm curious um about. like like like, like when you make contact setup. when i make contact not terrible um just because i feel like it's like a normal yeah. golf swing but like the club itself like feels super weird in my swing <laughs> yeah i'm also like trying to like offset the offset <laughs> <laughs> so like yeah you're, you're you're making adjustments to your swing as on the fly type of thing yeah because it's like it's really offset to the left which i already kind of hit it yeah to the left. so you're playing a regular flex shaft here like a you know the yes. standard this is a yep. kiro Ka kiro kage kagi 50 gram um so oh goodness well, and that's a you know a light flex sixty gram. It's as good as it's gonna build. get, but you can just tell it's like moving all over the place. That one actually was good too. Look at this. Oh, it's went a little right, but. I mean, you still hit the ball really well, right? So here's your. <laughs> I mean, to actually, I'm I'm being serious. Like there was the one that you started with. We'll probably have to remove that one just because it was a little bit. You were still getting used to the. Club yeah, a in bit. terms of dispersion, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But with distance, obviously, yeah, it's yeah. just like not even now, close. Now, I, you know, I think as we would, if we were able to get that club head, say in a shaft that's probably closer to your length, you would certainly, you could probably hit it up as far because you hit the center of the club face so frequently, but I think you would see that dispersion and, and your, it would get a little bit wider. Get a too. bit wider. Yep. Um, but just for the fun of it, we'll look at some of these numbers and uh, we can kind of see. It definitely goes to show how getting fit for the right club is. Yeah, and this yeah. is a bit and of this a drastic is, This is a very example. extreme example. A very yes. drastic example, but just shows how important it is. Yeah, because we got, I mean, you, again, the shaft length is the difference here between or for seven miles an hour club speed, which is helping you hit the ball yep. farther and, and with more ball speed. Um, but it also is actually, it does show how impressive this dispersion is up here because, you know, you're hitting the ball, what, like 20, 25 yards shorter with this club and the dispersion width is probably even skinnier with your yep. gamer. Yeah. Um, and these are fantastic gyro numbers, by the way, with with, uh, you. with your gamer. I mean, we're that's a really good spin number to hit the ball pretty consistently, right, at around 245 yards to 250 yards. And you got all of them, you know, we can nitpick this one in a very skinny part of this fairway, so to speak. Mm -hmm. It's right off of it. So yep. um, it is that that, that, that 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 was fun. I mean, that's a. Uh, it's not a club that we're going to probably recommend to a, a lot of people unless they're, <laughs> Yeah, you know. probably not. But this was good. Um, so from this, um, this is probably a 20 to 25 yard difference in technology. Yeah. Um, this is a, a, a if, I, if I was your fitter, uh, I would say stick with the title as TSI 3. I hope yeah. you agree with me on I that. I think you're right. We will. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bella, thank you for doing this. Yeah. Thank you for hitting the shots. That was uh, that was very fascinating, but also not surprising. In the it way was that, super that fun. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for having me. <laughs>